What's up guys, it's Red Stick, and I'm back again with another episode of my Dead Rising 3 Let's Play. And the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to combine these two vehicles. And we're going to make the turret rig. And guys, I've never used this before. I'm using the Elgato software and I'm doing the live commentary straight on the Elgato. Normally what I do is record the commentary in Audacity separate from the gameplay and then add in the commentary with the gameplay in Vegas later. I'm going to try this. I know other commentators use it. I can just tell by the way it sounds on their commentaries, and it's pretty good for them. So I'm going to give it a try and see how you guys like it. Let me know if this is better or worse quality than the last episode. And what we're going to do is we're going to get started by... First, we're going to go get some weapons. We're going to need some weapons... No one can survive the zombie apocalypse without weapons, guys. So that's probably the most important thing in this game is have weapons and some type of vehicle. You, you don't want to be stuck out here with thousands and, you know, zombies without something to drive around or something to defend yourself. Just lesson number one from Red Stick. You're welcome. <laughs> So let's get out the turret rig and jump up these stairs and get a few guns. Rhonda's probably going to be following us, so look at her. <laughs> Rhonda. She just kind of gets in the way sometimes. Oh, I look at her kicking the door like a boss. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but this is the weapons locker. You can pretty much get anything out of it and having played the game before and beat the game I kind of know what's coming up so I'm going to grab the appropriate weapons for the situation okay so I can only grab four at a time so what I'm going to do is come back Get in the turret rig. Come on, Rhonda. And I'm always having to wait on Rhonda because she's so slow. Like, get, watch what I'm doing and and do that. Get in the car, Rhonda. Well, Rhonda's finally in the car after many hours of wait. All right. Now, let's show you what this guy, what this thing can do, guys. This thing is a beast. It just shreds zombies. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I know the last episode, y'all got to see uh, me ride around in a couple different vehicles, but nothing, I don't believe, with a gun attached to it. And me and guns can be very destructive. I can be very destructive with weapons. <laughs> Look at me blowing things up. Okay, now we're on the freeway. We're making our way up to the quarantine station. And something tells me we're not going to get there right away. We're going to encounter a little problem. Just, just a, just a hunch. Okay. So, we're 
almost there and what is this hold on whoa what's going on here are we at a, some type of a dead end we're on the same work to get out and go on foot this is this is just not let me, can we clear the way no doesn't look, well I guess we're gonna have to get out the vehicle and we're gonna have to I guess we're gonna have to make the rest of this journey on foot as she said so only 80 meters or so to go and looks like we're gonna we're getting close to ending this video guys um I think right when we go through this fence I'm gonna end the video And wow, that was easy, huh? Hello? We'll let you guys watch this cutscene first. Oh no, this isn't good. Who are these guys? Wow, they have motorcycles and we have nothing. This is this is not good. And they have Rhonda. What am I gonna do? I have to save Rhonda now. It, it just I can't leave her here. Okay. She's she's a feisty little critter. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but. I'm going to give it a hell of an effort to take these guys out. You know what? I'm going to hop in this ride. I'm going to hop in this charger. I guess that's what this is. is a, looks like a charger. And we're going to try to run these guys over here. They got vehicles. We're getting a vehicle. There's one. Yeah. There's two. Yeah, mess with me. Play with me and get on, son. Play with me and get on. There's three. Four. Oh, well. I'm probably going to have to... Five. Six, seven. Well, we've reached level 31. We've gained three attribute points. And you know what? Those were well-earned attribute points, but you, we got to get in this car. We got to get in another car here. We have six attribute points to spend right now. And I have, but you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to take out the rest of these bikers. I don't want to let them kill me. Oh, God. The other car was so much better. This car is not as good as the other car. So, I'm going to go hop in this one. It looks just like the other one, except for it's yellow. So, let's do that. That car was just not getting the job done. And, let's see if this one can. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, we've just taken out the motorcycle gang. And, I don't know. Is this the end? What's the deal? I guess not. Y'all watch this cutscene and see what happens next. Here he comes. And this is why I went to grab the weapons, guys. I knew that I would be facing the motorcycle gang leader. And it's uh, this guy, he's on a roller hog. It's a very good vehicle. It's the one I was telling you guys about earlier. The the steamroller and the motorcycle in one combo or whatever. And uh, it wants you to throw Molotov at this guy using fire to kill him. But I've tried that and it hasn't worked out very well for me. So I'm going to use guns to, to shoot him. Guns are normally my most effective way or of getting the job done. So we're going that's what we're going to do. Okay.
and this guy Well, that was the first time the dog roll didn't work for me. Uh, And this guy's like running away from me. This is kind of weird. I've played this guy two or three times already. As this is not my first take at the video, guys. But normally he comes at me. I don't have to go at him. He's scared this time. He knew I had the guns necessary to defeat him. Come at me, bro. Oh, and he turns. In the middle of my roll, he turned into me. That's ridiculous. That's not fair. That's like a glitch in the game or something. But we're about to take him out. Alright, last shot on him. Last shot on target. Look at that aim. Anyway, guys, this is most likely the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. As always, I would like to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. This has been your boy Red Stick. See you next time.